There's a very famous African saying that when the elephants fight, the only one that loses is the grass. We might be the grass. We do not want to be in that position. That was from this January when Marcos Jr. visited China. That analogy sent two messages. The Philippines doesn't want to choose sides between major powers, and the Philippines doesn't want and cannot pick fights with one. That has changed. After a year of many maritime conflicts with China, Marcos Jr. now believes a more assertive China poses a real challenge to his Asian neighbors. He wants a paradigm shift on the Philippines' approach to the South China Sea. And he is discussing a reciprocal access agreement, basically a defense pact, with Japan. On December 20th, Chinese Foreign Minister Wang Yi told his Philippine counterpart that the severe difficulties facing China-Philippines relations right now are rooted in the fact that the Philippine side has changed its policy stance so far, reneged on the promises it has made, constantly provoked troubles at sea, and undermined China's legitimate and lawful rights. He emphasized that the Philippine side must act with caution. Well, this is a pendulum uh, the pendulum swung when former President Duterte was in office for the past six years when he pivoted completely to China. Now with Marcos, he's trying to reach out to both China and the U.S. Following that analogy, the grass is picking fights with an elephant to appease the other elephant. And that is irrational, ignorant to the point of insanity. Not my words. They belong to the former presidential spokesperson of the Philippines, Rigoberto Tiglao. He recently wrote an article for the Manila Times in which he laid side by side the front pages of Philippine and Vietnam newspapers. The Philippines' front pages show the maritime conflict. Vietnam showed Chinese President Xi Jinping's state visit to the country. He simply asked, what the hell is happening to our country? Senator J.V. Ejercito joins Senate President Meg Zubiri in urging President Marcos to send Chinese Ambassador Wang Silian back to China. Senator Francis Tolentino also wants to recall Philippine Ambassador to China Jaime Flor Cruz. For Senator and former PNP Chief Bato de la Rosa, it seems we're running out of options. Yes, what the hell? Marco says he wants a paradigm shift, but he is following exactly what the old paradigm mapped out, and it's making some Filipino politicians become irrational, ignorant to the point of insanity, so much so that they forget the big picture. First and foremost, we're an agricultural country. We need to modernize our agriculture. We need to have a digitalization of our agricultural sector. Also, we need to improve infrastructure, soft infrastructure and hard infrastructure with our agriculture. And we can, uh, we can benefit from China. Little did I realize then that China was in a class of its own. Rather than a competitor, China has proven to be a partner in development. It is a market for developing countries, a donor, and a provider of capital and technology. They won't benefit from China for long if Marcos keep his paradigm up. We understand the security with the United States and the economy with China strategy, but security with the U.S. cannot come at the expense of China's interests. I said before, the United States may make the Philippines feel safe now, but it won't be so happy in the future. And that future is quickly approaching. <laughs>